Welcome to our designer series guide, put together to help you visualize how our wine rack kit series will fit in your space. Or we offer a free design service if you submit the dimensions of your room. We can design out the space for you, no charge. However, if you're looking to do it yourself, let's go through how this guide works. Our designer series is sold in six foot heights. You can see the elevation laid out below that shows the racking nailed together to achieve a beautiful wine cellar. At six feet high, you don't need a ladder to reach the highest parts and it looks great filling up in any room. We also offer a variety of finishes and trim. Adding the little details really enhance the do-it-yourself wine cellar to look like a custom completed thing of beauty. We have a variety of crown options as well as base moldings. Be sure to check out our assembly videos to see the real things assembled. Let's take a look at our sample wall layout. Here's the overhead view. You can see that we have a curved wine corner, an open diamond cube, a one column individual bin, as well as a half height and a tasting table and glass rack on the top next to another one column individual rack with a solid diamond cube and another curved corner. You can see the entire width. And then if you scroll down, you can see the sample straight on elevation view and how it looks looking at it straight on where all the racks achieve that 72 inches of height. The next page gives you a quick sample room overview and rack specs guide. Let's go over the rack specs guide. Essentially, it's a blank layout guide, printed out. On the left, we have two options for measuring for corners using a 90 degree angle or measuring for corners using our curved corner racks. There's no better option. It's simply a matter of taste on how many bottles you wish to store in your space, your budget, and how you want it to look. If you're using the 90 degree angle, this allows the racks to come together and your spacer bars to touch in front. You would take the whole width of your space and subtract out 13 and a half inches twice. So if you had a 120 inch wide wall, you'd subtract 27 to end up with 93 inches of workable space. If you'd like to use curved corners, you would put in your width and subtract 24 and 15 sixteenths twice and the remaining is the space left for those additional kits. To help you lay it out, we've listed the kits on the right hand side. We've listed their widths, so you determine what you want on your wall from tasting centers to archways, diamond bins, or just individual storage. Since it's all being nailed together, you can use any mixture you prefer. Select two three column individual racks to make six columns and add in a diamond cube, for example. We do offer filler panels, so if you're a little short on dimensions, you can use the wood filler panel to fill in those gaps. If we scroll down, you can see the layout of all the six foot wine racks. You can see each one, and if you printed it out, you can cut it out and arrange it to your liking. We have your widths here, and they're all 72 inches high. This shows you the different varieties we have from waterfall racks to tabletops to case storage and all sorts of different things. So basically, we have our free design service which we can definitely help you double check your numbers, but we do hope this guide will help you lay out your space. And once it's completed, we hope you enjoy it and send in pictures so we can add to our photo gallery. Thanks for contacting Wine Cellar Innovations and we hope we can help you make the wine cellar of your dreams.